sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel so you've had kindly smash that subscribe button turn your notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i am saying a very big shout out to every one of you for all the love and support you all give me here i am grateful so today we'll be talking something very important and it's about a group of white palm colored people and black security man okay a group of white people jumped a, on a black security guard after being asked the the black security guard asked them to move their boats because they were preventing another boat from ducking and once the boat docked the black uh, the black people on the boat came to his defense you know these people actually jumped on the black security guard for telling them to move their boat so that the bigger one can dock right because they were preventing uh them from ducking and guess what they did man they started punching a, a security black security guard and before we, uh, they could say jack it was five persons or more than five persons against one person a black man it was even at that time that my heart jumped i was like wait i hope this is not gonna be another uh rain and shame going on or another race uh riot you all know how they do before we could say jack black people from all over jumped some swam like you know and so immediately the boat docked black people jumped out i mean they all came fully prepared they really dealt with palm colored people and i cannot like i am so happy i am so happy that it ended in a very good way because i don't know what would have happened if it were to be only just that black man against all of them and you all know how race riot and the rest of it started and the, and all that man i said shout out to everybody that all came out to do one or two things because really black people dealt with them and i love to say things like this our as it you know they were thinking it was back then when like you know when you slap this my cheek i am gonna turn the other way around so you can finish the job it is no longer now it is long, no longer now we are fully prepared i am rolling this clip we'll come back to talk about it and i absolutely want to read all your comments let me know what you all think in the comments section. bitch when i tell y'all i love my people i love how we stick together when shit going down because bitch this was definitely fucking necessary so a security guard was asking a group of white people to move their boat so another boat can you know come on the dock y'all why the man so this is a security guard right and this is the man who we was talking to asking him to move the fucking boat so somebody else can dock their boat he took it upon himself to hit him so then he started fighting back and then his friends literally started fucking jumping him acting like a bunch of hooligans so shout out to the savior right here who saw the shit happening and was like i'm not about to stand around and look at this shit i'm gonna go help my mans out right when i tell y'all sonic ain't got shit on him he ran from up there and down here to where this man was getting ganged at less than 2.5 and he pulled up on them like hey 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 hey, hey. what y'all ain't finna do is keep punching him and it's five of y'all and one of him so he started punching their ass back rightfully fucking so y'all it was people jumping off the boat as soon as it docked and it was people also swimming in the water to try to get to the security guard to help him out because he was getting ganged by a bunch of fucking hooligans and when i tell y'all they pulled up fuck around and find out they pulled up fuck around and find out okay no need to talk no questions asked only fists being thrown not miss karen being so scared that she about to jump off the damn boat girl your people started it and my people finished it rightfully fucking so and y'all i thought the crew members were trying to break it up but it looks like they was actually joining the fuck in because what y'all not gonna do is gang up on my fucking people but they pulled them men off that boat and went to work on the ass you understand me and y'all know how i said the people that were on the boat that needed to dock the black people they came off the fucking boat all down to the ogs and the older black woman were swinging on the ass shout out to her right here because she didn't know who she needed to hit but all she knew is that she needed to hit some fucking body and i don't want to hear the oh violence is not the answer what like i said in the beginning he hit him first and they started ganging the security guard what do you mean violence is not the answer he literally started it he literally wrote a check that his ass cut in cash and he got his ass handed to him rightfully fucking so now y'all can definitely go on a neighborhood talk to watch the whole video because you know i can't post it here because y'all know how to get down but when i tell y'all this warmed my fucking heart to see so many black people sticking out for this black security guard because i feel like had they not been out there 
things would have definitely been worse and he probably would have been unalive because y'all know they are very trigger happy. Riverfront Park, a fight beside the river has led to multiple arrests. Black August has started. If you haven't seen that video, I know it's not on this app. Um, I know it's probably on YouTube or maybe on Twitter. So if you got one of those things, go check it out. It's out in Mobile, Alabama. Um, it happened yesterday. Kudos to the brothers and sisters that got involved um, to help that brother out. He had like five of them on them before everybody else jumped in to help him out. I remember a time that Tucker Carson was saying that they don't fight that way. They do it one-on-one, -on -one, which we know he's lying. He's lying. These people don't fight fair. Just keep that in mind. They don't fight. They never fight fair. You're going to have to pay attention to your surroundings big time. And if you look at history, this is how race riots started. So the ignorant folks don't know how history is. So we're going to probably have to remind them again. See, that's what happens when you get that small town music song. See, they got they got that uh, courage and they think they could do stuff. And you have to round. Now you're going to find out. So cut it out. We had enough. Hello, everyone. I'm Dr. Amadai Shakur. So a huge brawl broke out in Montgomery, Alabama at a riverboat dock between some people of my skin tone and some people the opposite of my skin tone. Let's get into it. Witnesses say the whole thing started when the security guard, who's wearing the white t-shirt, walked over to a guy to ask him to move his pontoon boat because a huge riverboat was trying to dock there. But the guy refused, and then he threw a punch at the security guard, and this happened next. So all of the guy's friends jump into the fight and they start beating the security guard. They beat him down to the ground. And there's even a female who's involved. That's her in the green dress, if you can see. And so after this all starts, well, mind you, there's some people of the guy's same skin tone uh, watching this whole thing. And so that's when it really gets crazy. Please pay attention. So then, as you can see, a bunch of people of my skin tone go and get involved in the melee because clearly they're not going to sit there and see this man that looks like them getting beat down to the ground by a bunch of people who don't look like them. And so this is what happened. They all start throwing hands, fists flying, uh, people getting gouged in the eyes, people getting choked hit with chairs, you name it. It was all going down, okay? Please pay attention. This guy here was swinging on somebody with a chair. Uh, he was quickly taken down and he was arrested. Now here you see this man jumped into the water and swam across to make sure he was there to help. Okay, I mean, it all got real ugly. And these men here were all arrested. They're the ones who actually refused to move the pontoon boat in the first place, which led to the altercation. Now, as a reward for their nefariousness, some of them were gifted a free pair of silver bracelets and a one-way ticket to the county jail. Montgomery police arrived at the scene. They say a large group of people were involved in this brawl. Our crew saw people in handcuffs. MPD says several people have been detained and any charges are pending. Now, this whole thing is currently under investigation, and the police are asking for the public, whoever, you know, uh, took video footage of this to send in their videos, because they're going to comb through all the video footage to find out more details, of course, and this will likely show them exactly how the whole thing started. And at the time, they're saying they don't know whether or not it was racially motivated, okay? Uh, but this is just all very interesting. I mean, this was absolutely the most. And uh, like I said, people jumping in, you know, into the melee, jumping into the water from riverboats, okay, just to help and fight and defend their people. I thought it was all very interesting. You know, um, at the end of the day, the security guard was just doing his job. I mean, all they had to do was just simply move the boat. You know, that's all they had to do. But some things, some people make things that are so easy so hard. Uh, so anyway, with that all being said, TikTok, this is clearly for entertainment purposes only. <laughs> A lot of y'all don't know, Montgomery, Alabama is my home. And I want to do a special shout out to Montgomery right now. I promise you, if I was there, <clears throat> I've been fighting with y'all. Look up Montgomery, Alabama, riverboat brawl. We was just there a couple of weeks ago. Me and my sisters, I the videos on here, we was on the riverboat. Every now and then you need to be reminded that we are not our grandparents. We carry the spirit of Malcolm X now. Hey players, so a group of boaters in Montgomery, Alabama decided that they were going to... First of all, I'm going to keep it 100. 
this fight she's talking about is way better than the Jake Paul's Nate Diaz fight. Way better. This right here make you want to get popcorn, sit down watching, right? Like, yo, it's that crazy. First of all, brother, homie that jumped in the water in the lake to swim to the other side just to help the brother, he get the award of the year. Straight up. Then you got a sister. She she going to work on another girl. She going to work on her. After she done, she just throw in the ocean, throw in the lake. Boom, bye. See you later. It's crazy. Like, it was crazy. It was like... You know them little pictures right now on TikTok? They be posting the Omex and the Aztecs and the Mayans. And they be, you know, going through wall on the paintings. And you see them ha having them by the head. It looked like that in the flesh, y'all. I, I don't know if the Mayans was predicting what was going to happen in 2020. But yeah, yo. T yeah, it was looking really like, this looks familiar to me. Like, y'all got to watch that video. TikTok. Ain't letting y'all rock out here. They blocking it. But I already got me a copy of that. Straight up, bro. That right there going down the history. Bruh, okay, so like for me, I'm not going to repost the video or anything because when I first started looking at it, I thought I was looking at the next Ahmaud Arbery. Like I dead thought we were watching another lynching. So I was consumed with like shock and fear. And then that brother was saved. I was saved. By the folks, by the black folks symbolically <laughs> hopping off of that boat and um, doing what they did. And I just, you know, really feel like before I, I keep seeing these like reactions from um, other people that, you know, they were out of pocket. They don't even know that guy. So why? And I just feel like it's so justified by a history where race riots happen black people go missing and they don't get searched for like if something happened to that dude it would have just been another thing like and we would have moved on because that's what we're used to but they they did something yeah i see everybody getting their two cents in on that big old fight that happened down there at that dock in alabama and that's fine i want to give my perspective i want to give out some awards okay because there are some special performances and they don't need to be overlooked so i'm gonna go down the list honorable mention third place second place first place do y'all see that brother right there in the white? <laughs> That's an American hero. Let me tell you, all he was doing on this day was his job. Man in the docks, making sure that those boats were in order. And what does he get in return? About six, seven alabasters jumping on him. Saltine hyenas. Just trying to beat him up, embarrass him. But little did they know, <laughs> reinforcements were on the way. This brother's my honorable mention because he was just doing his job. An American hero. And uh, he held his own too. Okay, my third place, my bronze medal, going to Miss Ma'am right there in the blue. Now listen, in every fight, in every action movie, you need a change of scenery, okay? And what is a boat fight if the villain doesn't get wet, okay? <laughs> now this lady right here in the white, the one that's about to take a tumble, I know she thought, I'm going to wake up today, go out, get some sun, be a little racist, and stay dry. That was not the case. This woman right here in the blue, the Avenger, put her ass exactly where she needed to be, in the water. Rinse that stupidity off. She gets my bronze medal today for her amazing display of strength, courageousness, and badassery. Good for you, ma'am. My silver medal. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. <laughs> my silver medal. Do you see that brother right there? Now, you might have thought that that was like a shark, maybe even a, a mini speedboat. That is a Negro in the water on his way to the fight. On his way to the fight. Do you know how poised and, and aggressive and ready to fight you have to be if from the Gulf of Mexico, which is where I believe this brother came from, you decide that you're going to intervene by getting in that water, swimming 300 miles, and jumping on this dock. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Silver medal, I, I, I almost gave him gold just for the sheer audacity of it, the sheer cinema of it, but the gold's going to somebody special. But this brother right here needs to be heralded. He got in the water and swam to these folks. And I, I can't imagine, you see a Negro in the water swimming like Michael Phelps in the middle of a fight, it's time to surrender. This is my silver medalist, 100%. Folks, let me tell you something. <laughs> the only thing more exciting than when a fight starts is when it ends. <laughs> and baby, this is when this fight ended. You see where that arrow's pointing? That brother right there, you can't see it in his hands because it's moving at the speed of light, but he's got a chair. <laughs> he's got a chair. And that poor sack of nothing in that red shirt sitting there, she's about to get real intimate with that chair. That brother swinging it right there, that's my cousin. Yes, uh, where I'm from, we call him uh, Beethoven uh, because he likes to make music with chairs. <laughs> yes, and what she's about to get, we call that the concerto. <laughs>
<laughs> the concerto, baby. This fight was something else. But when that brother picked up that steel chair and started getting reparations for slavery, swinging it like I don't know what, the gold medal, <laughs> it was inevitable. This is our champion of the fight. The brother that said, it's over from this point moving forward. Your gold medalist, ladies and gentlemen. This was amazing. <laughs>
somebody sent out the black signal here in Montgomery, Alabama, and people, black people, was coming by land and sea to, to answer the call. <laughs> they say somebody got the feeling, feeling froggy and felt like they could jump a security guard just trying to do a job. And, 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 and the people around was like, mm-mm. <laughs> Not not on my watch. Not today or tomorrow. <laughs> Things are ex- escalating because of the games that rich people are playing and have been playing for centuries. France feels just fine and, uh, and the United States is okay too with being a, a loan shark. Basically, France is 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 strong arming African countries, including the, the ones that they have in the Caribbean, Haiti, which is not a French country because they got to gain independence, but they've been paying for that for centuries now. And we aren't bothering y'all. That's the thing. All we've been doing this whole time is trying to get freedom, autonomy resources but y'all this 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 whole thing with the western and european worlds and these rich people haven't decided that the best way to divide and conquer and keep all the resources to themselves is to pit white against black and give them the idea that they are somehow better than us and they are not and this game is what's going to destroy this planet the unchecked greed of of white men and women, it's got to be said. The unchecked greed is going to destroy this planet one way or the other. By war or by nature, it's going to happen. Unless there's intervention, we are headed for destruction. Because there are certain people who are never, they can't be satisfied unless they are um, oppressing or causing someone else pain and suffering. It's not called for. It doesn't have to be so. But that's how it is. So it did my heart good to see them people decide, no, not on today. Not today. We're going to beat everyone's ass. Who is trying it with whatever is handy in whatever way we see fit. And I'm so glad they did. Because how, what was that? What was even said that, why, why, why okay, to a fight between, between two grown men, why weren't you helped to break it up? Evil, that's why. I wasn't going to do it, man. <laughs> I had to. Okay, so early, I didn't think it was going to be a, this big of a deal, but I just got done watching that fight at the river boat thing. And baby... Let me tell you something. I know it was it it wasn't wrong because of how it started. They thought, oh, dude, the uh, the security dude. They thought he was by himself. They they thought they was gonna be able to do what they wanted to do like they used to do. And I ain't gonna lie, it warmed my heart too. I think the gag is for me is how they tagging that dude song, talking about some try this in our little city. People are tagging that song in this uh fight or whatever and it just is funny to me because them people were terrified okay they thought they had one in the bag but baby it was the bag the punching bag (laughs) and if you really think about it this shit probably spiritual (laughs) the white folks wouldn't move their boat so the harriet too couldn't dock the Harriet too. Harriet whoop y'all ass from the nether realms. Move this boat. It is, it is well past my bedtime. I'm still crying. Like everyone's so funny. And I keep learning details about it and it's amazing. Like I literally could watch this for like an entire week. So the kid who's been dubbed Aquaman because he jumped off the boat and swam to shore. His family put out a statement saying that they're really proud of him. And people sent him so much money through Cash App that they literally crashed his Cash App. And turns out the trash that started this whole mess owns a little gas station grocery store that they're worried about losing. And apparently that store is notorious for being crappy to black people. 
And not only are they gonna lose that grocery store, they are going to get sued up the wazoo. It's over, it's over. Also, it turns out a black man invented the folding chair. But I think the craziest piece of information that came out of all of this, for me, is that the port that that happened is exactly where the slave trade happened in Montgomery, Alabama, on that exact dock. There are already t-shirts. I will be buying one. And the internet right now feels like after I saw Black Panther in theaters. They won't be putting this one in those Texas history books for sure. I love us. So I did see the fight that happened. <laughs> so I'm sure by now all of y'all saw what happened in Montgomery at the riverfront. A black man was jumped by a group of white guys and black people stood in solidarity. We nucking, we bucking, we ready to fight. Also, I have been seeing a few white people saying how black people should not have responded with violence and how violence is not the answer. Y'all should be the last ones to say a statement like that. Y'all are inherently violent. Do you know your history? This was the perfect example of FAFO. Fuck around and find out. We are not our ancestors. You will get bopped. So, what's up with TikTok? So, I really don't do TikTok, so I'm gonna try to start making them. Um, so I really don't know what my page is gonna consist of, but it's a girl in the bunny. You feel me? So every time I get on this, but you go see me in my bunny. So I'm from Birmingham, Alabama. If you ain't know, check the bio 205. This is out of Montgomery, Alabama, and so I put the videos up. So if y'all haven't catched it, go look at my last post. They are on there. But I know it's some backlash because I know when the police came, that majority of the black people got arrested. So I don't have any information on like if they got arrested or how many of them got arrested. But if so, we need to start a fund to try to help them with that because I know that they did get arrested for a fact. I know they did. It just this early conduct, no matter who started the fight, they were fighting. Um, it's Alabama. It's Montgomery. So, um, yeah, I'll be contributing to that fund of, you know, their jail fees and uh, bonds or whatever it is. Hopefully, then nobody out there got to fight and had a warrant. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but if y'all got any information that if they, you know, did get arrested or something please let me know let's try to help them because that is another part of us staying together is also helping after shit like this because you know that don't white people press charges on them folks so all right like i said this is um a new little series of mine i'm gonna be trying to do some funny news um on this page so if y'all like it give me a follow and like this content thanks each angle and each piece of commentary of this Alabama Montgomery Riverfront fight is hilarious. It gets more and more funny. I keep seeing it. We got you know, oh the black woman. Go ahead, look, look at that young blood swimming. Then we got the the YT people mad at their own people. Motherfucker, we go get get your ass. So this is all I got from the stitches, and I am not gonna lie to you. When I saw that video, I was like. First, I was scared because the way they all came for the security guard who was doing his job. And at, at, like, at first, a lot of things were running through my head. Like, what if there were no other black people around? What would have happened? I mean, you know, when you think about how the whole thing happened, I was like, what if there was no black person or there were no black people around? What would have happened? This would have ended in Lane and Shen. Probably this black man would not be anymore because this is what they know how to do best. This is what they have been doing and it's been going well for them. It's been working for them, right? Young man was doing his job. He did not bother them. He did not do anything to them. He only asked them to dock so that the bigger this thing will come, like, will dock, right? And because he's a security guard and we don't have to listen to you or you are not our type or something. And the next thing, they started hitting a full grown man for no just reason. 
And instead of them to, to um, I mean, they were all there watching. Punk colored people were there watching. About five of them against one person. As our ancestors may have it, he sent so many of them to come take care of the situation because it is a win-win. You know, when you mess around, when you F around, then you're actually going to find out. That was what happened. I mean, the whole thing was just, I went to sleep yesterday and I was really very happy that all of them came all out to do their thing. And you all know the history of uh, palm colored people, the that you can imagine them saying that black why would black people respond with violence like you think it was back then when you slap when you slap my right cheek or i'm gonna turn the left cheek for you it is no longer that time people are no longer living in that time when you try it you collect mess around i mess around I ain't nobody trying to preach peace because as it stand, peace was not the answer at that point. They only did to collect. They only did to get their own, like, you know, their own share of the pun. Oh my God. I mean, may our ancestors bless all the people that came through because they did an amazing job. They did great job. They came through at the right time. And they did the right job. And this is, you know, you all know how race riot always start. Probably if black people were not around, they probably would have went and shot that person. And then another something would start. And then they look for a way to destroy black people's distance. But oh my goodness, you guys have no idea. You guys have no idea how grateful and how happy I am that they came through. Black people came through. I mean, you oh my god yo you all know i cannot put the video here but i i got you i got you in the link click on that link down there go watch it go see for yourself for those if you have not seen it but this video has really been everywhere like everywhere they actually got arrested too and some also black people got arrested but the great thing is that they already did the job because i would have been very sad if nobody did the job like you know and the security guard was eventually, when they finished the whole thing, I think he was really good. He was happy. He was smiling. I mean, you need to say, the, what is this one chair like that? Like, in, oh my goodness. If, boom, boom, mess around and find out. Try it next time. It is no longer during our ancestors' time. We are our ancestors, and now we are doing better. Oh my goodness i love to see things like this and a very big shout out to all the brothers all the sisters too not just brothers all the brothers and all the sisters who came to do their job they did awesome job we love to see things like this i am sure some of them will not know that man we don't have to try some certain things with these people because they are already this time around and the fact that i that that is one thing i love right now you know when you know your history, you will always be at alert. But if you don't know anything about some certain things, you are just going to sit like a moron and not be active. So the people that came all out understood the assignment. They know the history. They understand what has been happening or what they have been doing. I mean, this is where I am going to sign out. I am so happy. Thank you all so much for the support. I will see you all in my next video. Bye for now.